What is up everybody and welcome back to another edition of Sad Dad. Uh, you guessed it, I'm still solo. I believe this is my fifth time riding solo uh, without the little lady. But with that said, welcome back to the Pokemon Fan Club, a place where we're not just fans of Pokemon, we're a family. And if you'd like to join our family, go ahead and click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Also, if you like the video, give us that thumbs up. So every opening I've done so far, has helped me get over my sadness just a little bit. Um, but so far, it's just, I'm not where I should be. So I figured I'd start searching for some good stuff and uh, hopefully that will cheer me up. Anyway, so I went a little big this time uh, for this video. Um, uh, I've seen a few guys open some of this stuff and hopefully uh, you enjoy it and uh, I'm kind of trying my hand at it and we'll see if it's actually worth worth buying some of this stuff so let's check all right so what i am talking about are uh some of these things i went to a store i usually don't shop at for uh cards and i found uh one of these mystery power cubes i also found uh two of these mystery power boxes now what's interesting about these is that uh these boxes they say one in every five uh is has a vintage pack randomly inserted um, I've seen a few different people open these and uh, with some success uh, they only had two at the store so I couldn't buy five to see if that's actually true and then I also saw this one uh, this one is the sketchiest uh, but it does you know it's 60 common cards and it says three foils or two foils and an EX GX or a special card um, but it just says they are randomly seated it actually doesn't give you a, uh, a good number you know one in five one in ten or whatever so um you know i don't like paying the price that i paid for this but i figured i'd give it a shot to see what was in there um and these weren't too bad these were like you know 25 bucks a pop uh you know and it, it does have five packs in it so at the worst you're gonna you know pay a little over for one booster but you do get some mystery items and a code card and a coin so uh, I figured I'd check them out and, and see if it was worth uh, continuing to purchase or uh, just a waste of money. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. I want to start with this one first just because I, uh, I don't know. I want to save those for last. And I don't know if I'll be able to break this plastic or not. Again, I'm really hoping that... Um, I can get something good in here that'll to raise my my uh, my joy meter. I'm gonna grab something to open this. Okay, well the closest thing I could find was a uh, screwdriver, so that's what we'll do. Uh, and I'm just doing one cut on this because I don't want it to look like I pulled something that could have been uh, placed in there that actually didn't come with it. So. You know, this case is probably worth more money than the cards inside. Well, look at that, right on top. We got a GX. Let's see what the foils are. It came with a top loader. I'm not sure why it came with a top loader, but that's okay. Uh, so we got a, what is that, a Primarina and a Bellissum. What is that? Is that Steam Siege? I don't know. Whatever the sets are. If you guys know what these sets are, comment down below. And let's take a look at this GX that came with it. We got a Galasopod GX. It is a Sun and Moon promo. So, pretty cool. Um, don't think it's worth what we paid so far. But let's start running through what else we got. Marini, Cresselia, Chinchu, Ferrothorn. Ludrid, Solandit, Kingler, Heresy, Ponyta, Obasis, Energy, 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 Ultra Ball, Switch, Skyfield, Fairy Charm, Hollywood, Gloom, I like the art on that, Happini, I'll set that right there because that's what we're trying to get to, a Wooper, a Sandile, a Meow, a Toracat, a Tauros, a Grubbin, a Pikachu, Caravana, Raticate, a Duo, a Bite, Gibble, Star you, Roselia, Spirit Tomb, Buzzle, Purloin, Gollet, Arbok, Plusle, Ghastly, Yamper, Dartrix, 
Coffin, Mar Maractus, Magikarp, Natu, that's Natalie, Wilmer, Inke, Energy, Energy, Special Energy, Spirit Link, Marshtomp, Tangela, Darmuka, Mantine, and a Lampet. So, a bunch of nonsense. Uh, definitely not worth what was paid. I guess if you bought, you know, maybe five of them and went through and, and see what the ratios are and then maybe maybe you guys can tell me if you guys ever opened one of these and pulled actually one of those good cards so i'm not really sure if that was worth the money or not um probably not uh, these cards are pretty cool I'll, I'll look up and see if you know i mean one of this is only a uncommon so whatever let me know if you know you guys have opened these before and actually pulled something all right and here's the happy card uh, I, I want to be just as happy as this little guy so uh, usually it's a well-behaved Pokemon but if you take its round rock away it will cry and fuss and throw a big old tantrum interesting well that's what I'm going for all right let's let's go ahead and get into to this mystery power box and maybe just maybe we'll get one of these vintage packs I guess I should have got a knife or something, but I guess a flathead screwdriver does the trick. Goodness, they are sealed. That's something else I was thinking too with that, there's 60 cards, that's probably what you can do with bulk. You know, I'm not sure who runs this company, but you know, you throw a couple really rare cards in there and say you could get one and then, um, Throw all your bulk in there and charge 20 bucks for it, and there you go, you just pay whatever. So here we go, one pack at a time, we got a Sword and Shield, we got a Sun and Moon, we got a Sword and Shield, and Cosmic Eclipse, and Guardians Rising. So no vintage in there. What are these other things? We got some cards and oh, look at that. We got a pen and we got a coin. So let's take a look at what these guys were. Here's your code for you. Oh, a Luxray. Cool. Hollow Rare. Code card. I guess I'll just open the box first and then open these. Maybe I'll keep them. I don't know. I'm thinking about starting a sealed collection. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but Evolutions is now out of stock and out of print, according to all the big, you know, poker people that I follow. I actually don't know how they know. I guess I can Google it. But so I started saving some of my Evolution stuff. Um, and I buy a booster box too, and I hold on to it. Here we go, mystery power box number two. Box number one, breakthrough. Unified Minds. Sword and Shield. Cosmic Eclipse. And Sword and Shield. Ooh, ooh. So, no vintage for me. There's a new coin. And what is that? I don't even know. Latios. Latios. And we got. Cool. Another Hall of Rare. It's actually from 2012. I don't know. Should I be excited? You know, wanting to be happier is. Uh, if that breakthrough, that's what they count as vintage. Probably not. What year is this? This is 1995, 2015. So, probably not. Anyway, so we didn't get the vintage pack, so didn't cure my sadness. <sighs> but we did get some Sword and Shield, Unified Minds, Cosmic Eclipse, Breakthrough, Guardians Rising. I always like that set. Cosmic Eclipse. Sword and Shield. Sun and Moon base isn't bad. And more Sword and Shield. So, I guess I'll just start opening some packs. You know, if I couldn't get 
um, fully fully happy, recharged, then that's fine. Let's see what we can get out of these. Got a metal, Sabuto, Edelgoss, Energy Search, Chinchu, Pro Gunk, Flaring Meow, Score Bunny, Sinistee, Flaring Zigzagoon, and a Raja. Cool. <clears throat> Very nice. I don't have plastic with me. I don't feel like going to get it. I don't think we're going to get anything good out of this chunk anyway. Water Energy, Aurora Energy, Ferrothorn, Crushing Hammer, Mencino, Sobble, a Blip Hub. Ball toy, Wooloo, Reverse Hollow Energy Search, and a Terminator. Well, nothing good so far. I don't know if it's worth it to go buy all those mystery power boxes. We got a Fighting Energy, a Fish, a Fish and Pole, that guy, a Snake, a Bug, a Fish. A dog, reverse hollow snow, and a Lapras V. Nice card. I'm gonna set this one over here. That should probably go into some plastic. Maybe I'll pull out that GX too. Where is that GX from earlier? There it is. Oh, goodness. One V card. I don't know if we have Lapras or not. Gotta check the binder. Lightning Energy, Heat More, Drizzle, Fishing Pole, Snake, Bug, Fish, Dog. That's exactly what was like in the other one. Scorpion, Reverse Hollow. Hey, more Echo V. Cool. I think we have him too. Ugh. All right, here we go. Cosmic Eclipse. Lightning, Dog, Shell, Penguin, Teddy Bear, Rocks, Spider, whatever, Fish, whoa, look at that, I don't even know what that is, that's a secret rare, very nice, and a Slurpee, look at that secret rare, wow, I don't even know what that is, Piplup, Full art, super rare, who knows? If you guys know, let me know. I should probably go find plastic for that. That's a good card. That makes me a little happier. All right, Cosmic Eclipse. Let's get to it. Let's see if we can do another one. All right, I had a little guess there, so I had to kind of do a quick cut. All right, I got a water energy. It's a cool card. Jolteon, nice. Bro, a duck, I don't know. Some gas, some lava, a whale, reverse hollow sandy gas, and a polysyn. Probably the dumbest Pokemon card next to Applin. Unified Minds. Lightning, Fracture, Relincath, Elgium, Sneasel, Magnemite, Slackath, Axu, oh, Fletchinger, Reverse Hollow Thunderous, and hey, that's a pretty cool one. Espeon and Deoxys. Very nice. Well, this isn't too bad. I mean, 10 packs, and we have one, two, three, four. Solid pool so far. What we got Sun and Moon Base. Sun and Moon Base. I don't know if the trick's different. Four. Who knows? Fire. Switch. Full door. Grand full. Shelter. Pop Leo. Zubat. Reverse Hollow Dark Trio. And the Harry. Harry Yama. Guardians Rising. Why not?
I wonder if when they put the vintage stuff in here, they like weigh it so you don't get anything good, even if you do get the vintage stuff. Who knows? Weeping Bell. Rolling Bolt. I used to love this card because it didn't have the attack cost. Reverse Hollow Matang and Talon Flame. All right, we got one pack left. Uh, it is Breakthrough. All right, last pack, we got Breakthrough. I don't recall ever opening this, so I guess you're seeing a Starly there. Four, might not be four, it's not four. There's the rare, Cresselia, great. So three for Breakthrough. And a reverse haul of Zorua. Well, that's interesting. So, little review, we got the Espeon and Deoxys GX, the Secret Rare Piplup, the Morpeko V, the Lapras V, and then this uh, guy came out of the uh, Mystery Power Cube. All right. All right, guys, so if you're still watching, we have reached the end of the video. Uh, I really appreciate you checking us out. Um, and as of this moment, I'm still a sad dad, so I don't know if I'm ever going to get out of this rut. And hopefully I can uh, pull some uh, some better stuff next few round. A uh, quick review, uh, the Mystery Power Cube, this was about, I think, $20. Uh, 60 commons, 3 foils, one of which was an uncommon. Um, i got to check the prices on them. But as of right now, unless you have a couple hundred bucks where you want to buy 5, 10, 15, 20 of these to see if you can pull one of the, uh, you know, randomly inserted cards, uh, you know, and even then it might not be worth it to cover your cost. So be careful buying these. Uh, it was fun to open, just, just kind of a little rush. Um, and then the mystery power boxes. Uh, we didn't get a vintage pack, but we did get a... Uh, Actually, I think nothing good came out of here. Yeah, the only thing we got was the 10 packs, uh, some coins and some pins. So I guess if you wanna say that the cost of the coins and pins uh, brought the total pack price below the $5 threshold because these were 25 bucks uh, a piece. So you pay $5 a pack minus the coin cost and pin cost. So again, uh, if you don't have $100, or $200, or $300, or whatever to buy 5, 10, 15 of these boxes to see if you get one in five vintage packs, and even then, I don't know uh, if the vintage packs are gonna be weighed or if they're gonna be anything that's gonna uh, hold the value of uh, maybe a resale, like if you wanna get your money back or see what's in it, so. Um, anyway, I'd say the mystery power boxes, just because I've seen them open before and people actually get the packs, uh, I'll probably give it like a, you know, an average buy for Pokemon stuff, and the Mystery Power Cube, I would probably give it a, uh, you know, below average, like a two out of five, and then uh, the Power Box, like a three out of five. Um, anyway, uh, thanks a lot for uh, checking us out again at the Pokemon Fam Club. Uh, we really appreciate it, and if you enjoyed seeing this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up button. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, who knows when I'll have my companion back opening cards. Uh, if there's any cards that you saw that I missed going through it that were value, comment below, let me know so I can go back and double check. And uh, yeah. So once again, thanks for watching the Pokemon Fan Club, a place where we're not just fans of Pokemon, we're a family. If you'd like to join our family, go ahead and subscribe down below. Thanks a lot. And just speaking for the little one, as she always says, stay true to who you are, uh, be true to yourself, uh, love everyone and have a great day. Bye!